Welcome to our lesson on naming acids. Acids are a chemical family uh, that are very unique in the sense that they have characteristics in terms of pH that are unique. They have uh, bitter and sour tastes that are unique. So they are a special class of chemical family and uh, they're the opposite of bases. Perhaps you might have heard of acid and base chemistry, ranking the strength of the acid and a base on something called a pH scale. Because they are a unique set of chemicals, a, a family of chemicals, we have a unique way of naming them. Acids are a chemical family, and I'm writing that down, acids are a chemical family that, and I'll put a comma, when dissolved in water, ionize to release hydrogen ions. Let me repeat that back as you're writing it with me. Acids, which are the opposite of bases, they are a special chemical family that when I dissolve them in water, making an aqueous solution, they ionize and when they do so, they release hydrogen ions. Acids are hydrogen ion releasers. Acids are formulas that start with H. Acids, when we look at their formula, we're going to recognize those as their chemical formulas. Acids have chemical formulas that always start with hydrogen. So H plus will always, always be their first name and that's how we recognize acids in terms of a chemical family. If they start with an H, hydrogen ion is the acid ion. Acids taste sour. Think of like citric acid in lemon juice or citric acid that might be in vinegar even. Acetic acid is in ketchup. They have that sour taste. They have pHs that are lower than 7 on a pH scale. They are the opposite of bases in terms of a chemical family. We have a whole chapter devoted, much later in our journey of chemistry, but a whole chapter devoted to acid-base chemistry. The purpose of, of talking about acids in this particular part of our uh, chemistry class is to learn how to name them. Acids have chemical formulas that start with H+, that's the hydrogen ion. When we name acids, whatever the hydrogen ion, the first name, hydrogen, whatever it hooks to for the negative ion determines how we name it. Let me clearly put this in terms of a chart and because I wrote um, kind of large in this area for your benefit to see what I'm writing, you can definitely fit what I'm about to write in this area of your notepad. But I'm going to just put a fresh piece of paper up so I can write it out large and you can very clearly then copy it with ease into your notepad on page 12. So the name of my chart, I'm going to call it Naming Acids. When I'm naming acids, this little chart or grid is going to help me in predicting the correct way to name acids. In a first column of our chart, Let's put in the original ending, original ending, column one. In our second column, let's write that out as the acid name. And then we'll write in a third column, example. Alrighty just creating and again you can squeeze this in into the notepad. I'm up for emphasizing making it quite large. Sometimes we have ions for last names and remember the original ending this is what the negative ion because the first name is always always hydrogen. Hydrogen hooked to some element. Let's call that some element X. 
X could be a binary compound, it could be a ternary compound. We have binary acids and we have ternary acids. And whatever that hydrogen hooks to, if it starts with an H, it's an acid, and whatever it hooks to will determine how we name it. Let's suppose we have an original ending IDE. Now let me show where those come from. I'd come from these monoatomic ions on the front of our periodic table. Fluoride, F negative 1. Chloride, Cl negative 1. Bromide, Br negative 1. Oxide, sulfide, nitride. Hear how if they are monoatomic negative ions, they end with IDE. Sometimes the original ending is I'd. If that's the case, if the original negative ion ended with I'd, here's now how to name them in an acid rule. We say hydro, and then whatever that root word is for the element ended with ic, acid. Hydro root word acid. Let me give an example to help clarify. Acids always start with hydrogen ion, H with a plus one charge. If it starts with an H, it's now considered an acid. Acids release hydrogen ions. They would have a pH below 7. For our sake, anything that starts with an H will recognize as an acid. This special class of chemical family has a unique way we name it. Let's take this H and hook it to something over on this side that would end in I'd. Let's just pick chloride, Cl with a minus one charge. So the formula HCl plus one balances a minus one. This formula starts with an H. We would have named this hydrogen chloride. Here the IDE ending. Old school way, hydrogen chloride, naming a binary compound. But now, say it as an acid with me. In terms of writing it as an acid, we have hydro root word ic. That root word is coming from the negative ion. Hydrochloric acid. Let's write that in. HCl is an example. Hydrochloric acid. If the original ending were IDE, Hydro, root word ick, hydrochloric, HCl, hydrofluoric, HF, hydrobromic, HBr, hydroiodic, HI, hydrosulfuric, H2S, balancing charge, and so forth. Hydro, root word ick. Sometimes the original endings end with I-T-E. If the original ending ended with ite, we know it had to come from a polyatomic ion. Let's find an example from our polyatomic ion chart that ends with ite. Here's one, nitrite. Here's one, sulfite. Phosphite. Sulfite. Chlorite. There are many examples that we're seeing of polyatomic ions that end with ITE. So let's just take ite as an example. The rule says to name now as an acid, we go straight to the root word and turn the ite to us acid. Notice, very important, there is no prefix hydro. Hydro is only heard when the original ending were IDE. If the original ending were an ite, it came from a polyatomic ion, didn't it? An ite turns to us. Let's model. Let's just grab the first one I had said earlier. Nitrite, NO2, carrying a minus one charge. Acids always start with a hydrogen. NO2 is a polyatomic ion. NO2 minus 1 is called nitrite. 
Now, we would have named this hydrogen nitrite. We would have named it hydrogen nitrite, but now let's name it correctly as an acid. Acids start with H. The H is not heard in this name, however. We go directly to the root word, ite turns to us, and say it, we get nitrous acid. Nitrous acid. Now I know it starts with H because the name acid tells me that. Hydro is only heard in those binary acids that ended with ide. We do not hear hydro in this word. It's simply nitrous acid. Hydrogen nitrite became nitrous acid. There's one more ending. We hear on polyatomic ions quite often it's the ATE. Acetate, nitrate, permanganate, chlorate, sulfate, phosphate. Hear the ATEs? Sometimes the endings of negative ions end in ATE. Now, to name some negative ion correctly as an acid, do not say hydro. Eight simply turns to ick and we get acid. Eight turns to ick. Let's model that. Let's hear just the first one I might have said. NO3 negative one is called nitrate. Now, hydrogen always, always is the first name for an acid. An acid is a hydrogen ion releaser. If I see a formula that starts with an H, I know it's an acid. Let's hook it to a polyatomic ion, NO3, who carries a minus one charge. We would have named this compound hydrogen nitrate. But now correctly as an acid, do not say hydro. We simply go to the root word ick. This simply gets named nitric acid. If the compound ended with ide, I-D-E, hydro, root word, ick. If the compound ended with ite, ite turns to us, and we get chlorus, nitrous, sulfurous, acids would be an example. Ite turns to us. And if a compound originally ended with eight, eight turns to ick, and we had an example, nitric acid, sulfuric acid, carbonic acid, phosphoric acid. Here how I'm going directly to the root word and ending it with ick. We don't need to say hydro because we said the last name acid and we know acids always start with hydrogens. These binary acids who had original endings ide is the only time I hear hydro. That's so important. The only time I hear hydro only time is if the original ending were IDE. Let's turn our page in the note pack that we've talked through the acid rules and let's practice together. Let's do some together on page 13.